CBT Nuggets Micro Nuggets Strategies for Passing the CISSP Exam. Well, I wanted to get this micro nugget out right away because I have a huge announcement to make. Well, the announcement I want to make is a wedding announcement. I'm not kidding. As of today, October 19th, 2012, there's been a marriage between ISC Squared and Pearson View. The CISP exam is now going to be computer based. CISSP is the final exam in the fleet of ISC squared exams to finally transition over from that pen and paper based format. Why are they doing it? Well, they've introduced a palm vein recognition system for security of the candidates to protect their intellectual property and to make sure that the integrity of the CISSP exam is totally maintained, making sure the right candidate takes the right test at just the right time. Now you can take the exam from the Pearson Professional Center, from the authorized test centers select, and from global military test centers around the world. That's fantastic news. Now, I'm going to spend about, I don't know, about three minutes to give you some quick tips and techniques for taking the CISSP exam and some good strategies for passing this exam the first time because it's grueling and it's super long and you want to do it the first time. Now, what makes CISSP so unique, and why do we need to have this two-headed snake? Okay, because it's unique. That's my point, right? Remember, this is not really a technical exam, and that's one of the problems for the candidates when they go into this. They're used to taking CompTIA exams and Cisco CCNA, for example, and they think that they have to just memorize a bunch of terminology and a bunch of stuff, when really, you have to have the experience. There's, you know... A lot of this is scenario based and they're really just testing you on your common sense and your experience in the security field for all those years. So 60% of it is technical knowledge, but it's not going to be simple multiple choice questions in the sense of, you know, what is secure shell, things like that. 30% of this is ISC squared analytics, so it's the way they look at things. It's the way they analyze security and what do they and their partners and their vendors and people they work with to formulate this exam, what do they find to be the right way to do things and how is this a successful strategy? So you really have to think like they do. Test taking skills are important. The kind of things where you're able to look for distractors, for example. Discriminators versus distractors. Discriminators are things that you can find little gems in a question that will help you get the correct answer. A distractor is information in a question that will basically distract you from getting to the right answer. Okay, But let me tell you something. These test taking skills, and I'm going to give you some examples here, are important and they're vital. But I'll tell you what, the most important thing is really stamina. If you've ever played in a really all day long poker tournament or watch people on TV, you know that when you lose your stamina towards the end of the tournament, you're going to start making mistakes. You're going to start giving up. You're going to start playing foolishly, recklessly. You're going to pretty much just want to get this thing over with. You cannot do this on this exam. Okay. Also, you need to practice taking it your own test. Practice taking questions for four hours at a time. Sit down, take a whole morning, a whole afternoon. Okay. Be rested. This is OF, should be OF here. Be rested a couple of days before the exam. Okay. Also, don't cram. Don't cram the night before. If, if you have to cram, you're not ready. Don't eat a heavy meal right before your exam and possibly learn some breathing exercises. Go up on the internet, learn some relaxation and energy building breathing exercises to help you throughout the day. So you're saying, okay, okay, Michael, I see that 60% is knowledge, 30% is analytics, the way they see things, the way they analyze security. Where's the other 10%? Okay, that's the test taking skills. Let me give you an example of a question what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to use this one question to make all my points. Okay, so basically this is it. Nugget Labs is a Fortune 1000 company offering IT training solutions to individuals and organizations around the world. 88% of their traffic is HTTP based, but this number is decreasing by almost 12% a year. They're considering a purchase of a new firewall system and hiring 266 new employees. They're looking to deploy a firewall feature right away, and speed is the only single criteria for the decision. Which firewall type would be optimal? Okay, so first of all, you have to get rid of the distractors. Okay, so basically the name of the company, whether they're Fortune, whatever, doesn't matter. What kind of company are they, doesn't matter. Even this 88%, all that stuff. 
They're hiring a bunch of employees. Big deal. Okay. We want to find the discriminators. What is the real meat of the question? Okay. They are looking to deploy a firewall, and speed is the only single criteria. Bottom line. What is the fastest type of firewall? The answer is A, packet filtering. Don't believe me? Well, that's what ISC squared believes, and that's all that matters. Here's the bottom line. You'd never want to change the question based on your personal experience, your, what you've done in your career, what you've done in security. Never do that. That's a license for failure, okay? Uh, you have to read the, 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 the question very carefully and look for the discriminating information, the discriminator. Don't rush the exam. It's not easy. Also, you want to track your answers as you go, okay? Keep a good track of what you're doing. Be prepared, and you've got to be able to have the mental energy and the stamina to get through this whole thing. Don't lose your cool. Chances are you're going to think that you didn't do very well, and you'll do better than you thought you did. Okay, so that's my advice. It's a tough exam. Again, it's now computer-based, and take the tips I've given you and go out there and pass this thing. I'm Michael James Shannon, CBT Nuggets instructor. I hope this is informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing.